Hi, this is Polly. Today, I am going to take you to a bling world, caring in business, discovering XO the Biju box. I discovered it by a friend of mine because I actually wanted to buy a jewelry and my friend actually showed me Dolly's Instagram. So I got a chance to interview her and this is what I learned. Early exposure and inspiration. Dolly is Indian and um, in her culture it's very, you know, jewelry is something very important um, when it comes to dowry and, and marriage and whatnot. So Dolly started to collect her jewelry since she was young because her best friend's also a jeweler. They actually own a jewelry business in Boston. So she actually has an uh, you know, early exposure with this since she was young. And that's actually inspired her to collect them. And guess what? She created her Instagram page. Just um, she wanted to show her collections of what she has to her friends and families and the world. And apparently her friends, all her other friends, started to realize that her pieces are really unique and really beautiful. And they've never seen that those style before. They are vintage and very um, exotic. So Dolly actually said, hey, I actually um, designed them myself. So her friends are actually offering up like to, to buy jewelry from Dolly. And Dolly said, okay, for sure. She actually sold them, you know, a little over cost and you know she made a little profit but then her business started to grow within the past five years and um she realized this is actually making a lot of money and then she started to cooperate at her um company business focus she focused on clients um she keep telling me they're my clients they're not my customers and they have a really good relationships um in terms of you know clients and business owner like her she said that her emails where they talk to her clients it's very personal they talk about personal life sometimes and that she very focused on their happiness and what they want um how do they want their peace to look like they communicate you know may maybe daily basis and and whatnot next is her instagram captions her captions are very her captions for each post are very personal very touchy um she is she loves to read, so she is a really good writer. Her captions would say like where she got the stone from, how she loved this piece, why would you know she sometimes she wouldn't want to sell them because it's really hard to find those stones or you know it's very unique and vintage and that makes it very unique. Like her captions are very catchy. She also mentioned that to have a successful business you have to put in pieces together you would not know what's right or wrong until you actually do it so her pieces are customer focused her instagram her captions um her caring about like no her being her caring about her clients about her business you know passionate about it that's her passions um that's what makes her business success her business successful Here's what I've learned from Dolly. Um, to become an entrepreneur, um, to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to have a work-life balance. Dolly has a full-time job um, as an executive at a very well-known toy company. Um, you know, she's maintained a very um, healthy lifestyle, mentally, physically. And one thing that she said, Polly, I'm not being greedy. You know, I, um, I do the best I can. And... Um, as a single mom, I, I care for my families and friends. And recently, she's going through a hard time. And she said that having people who loves you around, um, very helpful. And that move her forwards. So thank you for listening. And I hope that if you ever go to her Instagram page, um, if you mention Polly or uh, USCMBA, you might get a discount. <laughs>